It turns out that if you just have a diverging lens and nothing else, you cannot form a real image. So let's see how we can go about creating a real image, what we need to go to. So I'll go ahead and write out my equation for the image location. And then because the focal length for the diverging lens is negative, I'm going to pull that negative sign out explicitly. I'm going to define capital F as the magnitude of the focal length. And then that minus sign comes out right here and right there. So looking at this, I can see that the image distance SI is always less than or equal to zero unless SO is negative. That's the only possible way that I'm gonna get a negative sign there because, well, that's the only option that I have. And so if we go ahead and set this out as an inequality, like so, then we can actually solve to find where the sign switches. And so SO has to be less than negative focal length. In other words, we have to have a negative object distance. How exactly can we have a negative object distance? Well, it means that in this situation here, our object has to be over on the right side of the lens. Now that is not possible for a physical object. Um, because we always are assuming that light is traveling from left to right. And if we were to put our object over here, well, we're looking at the light moving to the right, not to the left. And we're, our eyeball, another way to think of it is our eyeball is over here looking towards that. And so we're not gonna see any sort of image in the lens as a result of that object. But what we can do is create an optical image on this side of the lens. In other words, something that um, looks like it's the light is coming from that point. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a real image. Now, the only way to do this is to add in another lens to the system. And so if we go ahead and create an image to the right of the diverging lens using say a converging lens, well, then we can go ahead and get a real image.